Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polish. Today's on Sundays we stamp black lace. These are some black lace nails that I wanted to do. I initially wanted to do them in white, but I thought that was a little too bridal, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm taking Snickerdoodle by KO Polish, and I'm going to do two coats of that. I actually wanted a color that had more of a pink color to it, but everything I had was too dark, so Snickerdoodle had to be the winner. Next I'm taking Mirror Mirror by Bundle Monster. It is a stamping polish that is black with little bits of silver shimmer in it. And I'm going to use this stamping plate that's also from Bundle Monster. I think this is the Ellen Dish plate. I like this little lace section I always have, and every time I've used it, I put it in a matte top coat. I don't know why, but something about it just needs a matte top coat. This is Halcyon by Cirque Colors. It is my favorite rose gold polish. And I'm taking it on this teeny tiny little detail brush that I just got. And I'm just going to line in the top part of the lace, or the bottom depending on which way you flip it. And then I'm going to fill in some of the details of the flower, but not the entire thing. When picking up this stamp, I used a very light rolling motion. That's actually the best way to get the most detail of it. I find the harder you press, the more likely you're going to get pieces of it that are missing. It's a very interesting stamp in that you have to be very specific in how you pick it up. It's kind of annoying. I tried to pick it up three or four different times before I finally had it complete on my stamping head. Another thing about this stamp is that because there are parts of it that are so thin and delicate, the nail polish will dry a lot faster than you want it to. So before applying it to your nail, I recommend using a clear nail polish, not a top coat, just a regular clear nail polish, and that will basically keep it wet enough that while you wait for your latex peel off to dry, it will come off in a sort of nice decal. If you don't do this, the nail polish becomes brittle and it breaks off and then you have pattern bits missing and it's just a whole aggravating thing. This way you can at least get everything that you picked up on the stamping head. Yes, you have to cut off excess clear nail polish, but some sacrifices must be made. I'm just using my cuticle pusher to get around the cuticle area and to cut on along the sides. I'm not putting too much pressure, just minimal. And I'm using my tiny tweezers to pull off my latex peel off. Next I'm going to take my bundle monster cleanup brush with a stamping head on the bottom and I'm using it with some acetone to clean up the edges. Is anybody else interested and ready to see how Bundle Monster changes their name? I know it's going to be Maniology, but I want to see the way they're going to market their products now. I'm pretty excited about it. Once you've got it all cleaned up, I'm taking a matte top coat. This one is by Ice, I believe. And I'm just putting on one coat. I don't do a lot of matte top coats because I don't really like matte look nail polish, but for whatever reason with this lace, I just always use a matte top coat. And here is the final result. I like it. I think it has a very nice dignified, classy sort of look to it. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.